Ecosystemic Permanence. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 254. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 254, February 4th, 2018 edition. What One Community is creating and what we're going to talk about today is ecosystemic permanence. And what ecosystemic permanence is, is ecological systems that are permanent. And One Community is working to create these with open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. Specifically, that's the physical foundations of sustainability <clears throat> combined with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create an evolution of sustainability that includes both. Putting them together, the food, the energy, and the housing as the physical foundations and the emotional foundations that we've identified as most important are fulfilled living practices, education models, highest good economic models, and true earth stewardship. Creating ecosystemic permanence by providing a way of life that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now, and built on a foundation of sustainability that makes it all possible. Making sustainable living or ecosystemic permanence easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating as attractive enough so the ideal will spread on its own. And doing that specifically through one community as a prototype teacher demonstration community, village, and eventually city designed to invite people to participate engage with everything that it is that we're creating, and teaching them how to create ecosystemic permanence too. Putting all the components together in a place where somebody can come and live or visit and experience living in an earth bag home or in a straw bale village or all the any of the villages that you see here in the background, as well as the education model, as well as the highest good economic models, the nonprofit and for-profit business creation models, the entrepreneurial model, and the truer stewardship, the fulfilled living practices, all of these things. Imagine you could go to Club Med or go on a cruise where it's a fully uh, immersive environment that provides for all of your needs. Now imagine that you could go to the environment and you could replicate it yourself uh, easier than a traditional living environment because all the plans are open source and free shared because everything is designed to be replicated and adapted to meet individual needs and it's all made for more affordable through those two things and made easy because of all the tutorials and demonstrated so that you can come and experience it just like a cruise or a club med type of an experience only now you're experiencing an eco tourism destination your villa you're experiencing a complete eco village and if living that way if living sustainably living in integrity and cooperation collaboration instead of competition if being a part of world change is something that you'd like to join and be a part of then all the open source tools, tutorials, and resources are there to help you do that. And so this is our idea of ecosystem systemic permanence, creating these systems, the food, the energy, the housing system combined with the fulfilled living, the education models, the highest good economic models, the true earth stewardship, putting those things together as a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub designed to be a permanent teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub, and one community as the first of those that is capable of generating enough revenue to continue indefinitely without donations by just being an ecotourism destination and teaching others how to create this as well. So instead of a humanitarian or just a philanthropic aid type of situation, if people want to go in and build a permanent teacher demonstration community village, city or hub to help people with homelessness or food instability or social injustice and inequality or uh, just creating a new way of living for people then their families and their friends. Whatever the person's goals are, one community is meant to do that in an ecosystemic permanence type of way, creating a system that is designed to be permanent, self-sustaining, that if people change their mind, they don't want to be a part of it, they could sell their stake in it. They could sell their aspect, their percentage of the, of the eco-village or the complete eco-village as a whole as a completely set up and ready to go model for sustainable living. But our hope and our belief is that people wouldn't want to do that, that they're going to create this way of living once they realize that they never have to work a traditional job another day in their life, that they can run their entire environment 
as an ecotourism destination, they'll generate enough revenue to continue to expand, to pay off all of their debt, to send their kids to college if that's what they want to do, and their entire lifestyle becomes the commodity that they're sharing. We think that that's a model that time has come, that people want, and will, as we've said before, spread on its own, that'll become self-replicating, designed to meet the diverse needs of humanity in whatever way that piano you want, humanity wants to modify that and adapt it or just replicate it as is, because we think it's already a pretty amazing model. And with seven different villages, the complete education model, the food models, all these things are designed to be implemented as either the complete teacher demonstration hub or as individual components. So our hope, our desire, and what we've created, we believe, will provide something for everyone. Whether or not people agree with the whole idea of teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs, whether or not people want to live sustainably and create a complete eco-village, if people just want to apply the education model or the high school economic model or the fulfilled living practices, those options will be available as well. Or to grow a garden or to build a home or to build a private residence or like a guest house or even just a kid's playroom. Sustainably, we want our open source blueprints to meet that need as well. And they're being designed to do that and they will. So with all that said, we are 100% volunteer, nonprofit organization. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. I'm not paid for what it is that I'm doing. And this is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of ecosystemic permanence uh, that will transform our planet to a sustainable one within our lifetime. So with that said, let's check out one week of our team's progress and accomplishments work towards that goal. Here it is. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source climate battery designs. What you see here are the second generation designs based off this week's research and past designs. The core team also continued working on the Murphy bed instructions. This week we looked at stair options, added new page sections, and transferred images over from the Google Doc. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 99 of Dean's work, continuing the process of test rendering the final central dining hall perspective you see here. Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, completed her fifth week working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential designs. This week, she created a new AutoCAD file mirroring the floor plan update she's been working on in 3D. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished another 20% of the LEED lighting tutorial details for the lighting design of the city center and all other One Community structures. This week, we added more content and formatting to the case study section focusing on the city center. This brings this page to 90% complete for its current development cycle. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center's structural engineering. What you see here are his third generation updated calculations and tutorial content for the live and dead loads. Oruba Rubi, PhD, PE, and civil engineer also continued working on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was adding cross beams to SAP 2000 and testing the effects of this on the structural integrity of the building. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his 11th week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplicate City Center. This week's focus was adding and revising the pool and other comparison and clarification details to the HVAC presentation. You can see some of this new content here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the data for the food calculations on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages and 52 links to add to our resources section for recipes and shopping guides that fill the nutrition needs we outlined, as you can see here.
One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued researching images to add to the education, evaluation, and evolution process open source pages and tutorials. We found nine images for the transference of knowledge page, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team spent several hours researching nature and animal sanctuary videos and adding them to our open source annual social media strategy. You can see some of this work here. The Highest Good Network software team consists of Samya Manohar, Pretty Kodari, Shubar Mittal, Priyanka Singh, and Asha Tatamari. This week, the team implemented the ability to enable users to upload their profile picture, explore cloud options for software hosting, implemented functionality to add new projects and tasks to the project database, and work to fix an issue where tasks aren't showing up on the user interface. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this idea of ecosystemic permanence. Sustainable teacher demonstration hubs built around the world working together in cooperation and collaboration to create a better world for everybody. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links, to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog uh, or visit our website. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And uh, if you'd like to help, visit our helping page or the easiest way to help is to join us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Of course, all the most popular ones, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, Instagram, we're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information and also as easy as possible to share our information. So if you'd like to help us out, share information or just go to our Facebook page and just like a bunch of our posts, you know, or share whatever page of our website you think is most interesting. Help us get the word out. We can't do this without the help of others, without getting the word out. So if you'd like to help in the easiest way possible, that is it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like this video. Those are easy ways to help out. And uh, of course, thank you. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for the donations that we get. As I said, we're a 100% unpaid staff. We're an all-volunteer staff, a nonprofit organization. So 100% of the donations that we get goes to forwarding our open source mission. It doesn't go to salaries or wages. It goes to website infrastructure and things like that to keep us moving forward. So thanks if you're somebody that's donated. Thanks if you're somebody who's just watched to the end. Thanks if you're somebody that's liking our information on Facebook. Thanks if you're somebody who's uh, sending us emails or giving input on any of our pages. All that stuff is really helpful. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.